Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio, so today I am in the mood for bringing you an exclusive. So, you know what? I am going to bring you an exclusive. I have a very credible source over in Japan that has sent me the translation for Rayquaza GX. Now, we know that Rayquaza GX is coming in Sun and Moon 7. It was confirmed by chaoscards.co.uk, and, you know, also. Well, it's on, it's on the front of the pack. <laughs> so we're definitely getting a Rayquaza GX. And essentially, someone over in Japan has seen the text from a leaked page of Korokoro magazine. This is what I'm hearing. And unfortunately, unable to take a picture, but did take a mental note of what it actually does. So once again, no guarantee that this is real. However, the Septile news I brought you the other day was very quickly corroborated by Poker Beach. So I see no reason why this wouldn't be true. I trust my sources. Now, Rayquaza is going to be a dragon Pokemon. That means that it's not hitting anything for weakness, but it does mean you can search it out with Mysterious Treasure, which helps, and it means you can use Devoured Field in order to do an extra 10 damage, which is always good. It is apparently going to have 180 HP, and that is actually incredibly relevant, because a Dedene with a Lightning Pokemon on the bench and a choice band will be hitting 90 damage, 180 with weakness, and of course, being a dragon Pokemon, it will be weak to Fairy. Ergo, Dedene will actually be a legitimate counter to this. I should also probably mention Gardevoir. Clefairy, for reasons we're going to see in a minute, is not particularly an issue. Plus, it's going to rotate out around about the same time Rayquaza GX comes in. It is apparently going to have a retreat cost of two, which does give us a very, very small window where Heavy Ball will be able to be used to search it out, although it is going to rotate pretty gosh darn quickly. And that's the basics, but as always, it all comes down to whether we can actually use this in terms of attacks. And I'm saying off the bat here, we absolutely can. Now, the ability here says that once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand to your bench, so it wouldn't work if you were to use something like Nest Ball, for instance, because that goes straight onto your bench, you may discard the top three cards of your deck and then attach a basic energy card from your discard pile. And this is slightly unclear. It's either to Rayquaza or to one of your Pokemon. But remember in a recent video, I told you, and I will link this video in the description, I told you that Poker Beach had a rumor that it was going to accelerate energy to itself. If we take those two hand in hand, then that means that actually it's going to accelerate to itself. Accelerating energy is always good, ladies and gentlemen. Accelerating energy is so good that we tend to play Pokemon that can do it. Solgaleo Prism Star, really good Pokemon. Malamar came out in a new set. That's seeing a fair amount of play. People are still trying to make Magnezone work. Vikavolt's a good Pokemon. More on that in a moment. Accelerating energy is good, and this is on a basic Pokemon. And we do have cards in the format like Energy Switch, for instance, and Multi Switch. So this actually means that you could potentially get 2, 3, 4, 5 energy on a Rayquaza in one turn. One for the ability, one for the attachment. Now you're going to need 3, I'll talk about that in a moment. But it does mean that in theory you can actually get all this energy on turn 1. It means that you could potentially get 4 Rayquaza out and accelerate 4 energy on the first turn of the game. And an extra 4 energy turn 1 is great. Bearing in mind we are going to be losing Max Elixir soon, this is absolutely going to help. I mean, technically you could use Ninja Boy to get it. No, Ninja Boy's way too clunky. And to be fair, we'll rotate out along with Max Elixir. It's a good ability. Now, you do have to discard the top three cards of your deck. That is a pain. Be prepared to play stuff like Rescue Stretcher, etc. To try and get these cards back if you discard something good. Maybe you end up discarding a bunch of rare candy. That would be bad. You can even play Puzzle of Time for a short period at least. Just... Be aware that although this is really good energy acceleration, you could end up discarding cards you would rather keep. That's a bit of a problem. The attack here, however, is what really excites me about Rayquaza. Grass, Lightning, Colorless. This attack does 30 damage, 
times the number of basic grass and basic lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. If this is true, if this is a real translation, it is over the top metagame breaking good. Because you basically need 6 energy in play to do 180, 210 with a choice band. Which means you would be KOing all the main threats like Boswell, like Zoroark, like Ultra Necrozma, etc. But when your opponent takes a KO, then they're actually only getting free energy off the board. You get to keep all the rest of the energy. And ladies and gentlemen, accelerating grass and lightning energy, we have got many, many ways to do this. The ability obviously springs to mind. We've got Max Elixir in the short term, but we've also got some other options. How about Pachirisu? Now, your bench is going to get a little bit awkward with this, but Pachirisu Pachirisu allows you for one lightning energy to attach one lightning from your deck to each of your bench Pokemon that has the nuzzle attack, potentially giving you up to six energy on turn one. That's a great way to accelerate energy. How about Vikavolt from Sun and Moon, which every turn accelerates a grass and a lightning and yes, ladies and gentlemen, that means that that's an extra 60 damage per Vikavolt per turn. And then, let's not forget Beast Ring. Okay, none of the Pokemon we're mentioning, Vikavolt's not an Ultra Beast, Rayquaza's not an Ultra Beast. You don't need to attack with it. What you could actually do here is just grab something like a Zergatry or a Feromosa, and then just pile energy on them using Beast Ring, and then attack with your Rayquaza to do a huge amount of damage. I have said this is a credible rumour, but it is a rumour nonetheless. There is a chance this isn't the real translation of Rayquaza GX. But between Pachirisu, Vikavolt, Max Elixir, Beast Ring, the ability, and goodness knows what else... I mean, Magnazone. And I know this Magnazone is rotating. Oh, no, wait. It just got a reprint. So Magnazone is absolutely fine right now. Yeah. If this is real, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to instantly become one of the best GXs in the format. It's over the top good. You need six energy on the field to essentially be one hit KOing absolutely anything here. And that's just ridiculous, given the energy acceleration we've got for Lightning and for Grass Pokemon. I mean, I haven't even mentioned something like Lorantis GX yet, because I don't think it's very good. Which is sad, because for a long time I really did. But there's so many options here. And then, of course, being a GX Pokemon, there is a GX attack that I'm not terribly fond of. One Grass Energy, Tempest GX, discard your hand and draw 10 cards. It's kind of like Big Wheel GX, but with the unfortunate side note that you got to discard your hand. Now, this could be good if you can get to a low hand size. If you can't get to a low hand size, that's actually really, really bad. Potentially. But hey-ho, you can't win them all, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Desperation GX attack, to be perfectly honest with you. It's not something you want to be using every game. And honestly here, Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko GX has no weakness. And Tapu Koko GX, not a great Pokemon. Except the GX attack. The GX attack here is absolutely brilliant. Because what it does, quite simply, is 50 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Awesome. Well, you know what? You've also got the ability where you can play it down and move a bunch of energy over to it. So that's what you do. You play it down, you pop a whole bunch of energy onto it, free to be precise, and then you use that GX. This could work, ladies and gentlemen. I would expect it to actually be played with one Tapu Koko. And you could also use Tapu Bulu here, although I don't think it's as good. And then, of course, you've got the baby Tapu Koko. Hey, Nick. And then you've also got all kinds of stuff you could be using as well. If this is real, and I cannot tell you for certain it is, but if I didn't think it was credible, we wouldn't be having a video on it.
This is an amazing Pokemon. The ability is really good energy acceleration, although it is incredibly risky because you could just discard free cards from your hand. The GX attack is good in a pinch, but most games I'd rather use Tapu Koko's GX attack, and I would play one Tapu Koko just for the ability to get the energy onto it, and then the GX attack. But I think this attack, 30 damage for each basic grass and lightning on your field, actually quick side note here, it means you wouldn't be able to use stuff like counter energy to count double, and if you got free stage 2s in play, which I really don't think you would, but if you did, super boost energy would not count quadruple. But all the ways we've got to accelerate energy, this is a flat out no brainer 5 Wassy card. Because when I look at this, I think, hang on a second, if I can just hit a couple of B string, a couple of max elixir, and a couple of these abilities, I, I just one hit KO anything from an all-basic deck with massive speed. It's fast, it can KO anything, it is amazing. The one good thing is, it will get wrecked by Dedene. Dedene, with a choice band, double colorless energy, and a lightning Pokemon on the bench, will get a one-hit KO here, and might just be about to see a spike in play. Amazing attack, good ability, useful GX attack. I really hope this is real, because it will be a great card. But also, yowza if it is. I want to hear from you guys, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section. You previously have told me that you do want to be hearing these rumor videos, and they are credible, or else I wouldn't bring them to you. Tell me what you think about this card. I think, arguably too good. Go nuts. Be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do just that. And do make sure you check out my video game slash Dragon Ball Super channel, Wossy Plays, for some more Wossy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.